I have two questions. Uh, and one of the benefits of asking questions this late in the briefing is that you don't have to be concerned with advancing the story incrementally of the day. You can just ask about sort of broader <laughs> things. So with that in mind, first on the communications team uh, and then on the culture, so-called culture wars, um, where the president's communications are concerned, and I'm asking you because you work on his communications team and you're a professional communicator. Um, there is obviously a variety of settings the president can employ, set pieces, impromptu remarks, teleprompter, no teleprompter, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Is it the view of the president's communications team that he is equally adept in all settings in terms of communications, or are there some that play to greater strengths, some where he probably isn't as strong, etc.? I will tell you this, the president is the best communicator that we have in the White House. Go ahead, okay. go ahead. Next right question here. was on the so-called okay. culture wars, if you would. I appreciate it. Sure. Um, one of the most prominent themes that we hear from both elected Republicans and, and candidates um, has to do with uh, what is called wokeism. Um, and we hear about an anti-woke agenda. And this entire subject reminds me of what Supreme Court Justice Potter Stewart once said about obscenity, that he couldn't define it, but he knew it when he saw it. Uh, and so we hear so much talk about woke capitalism, a woke military, and so on. And by way of trying to clarify this for the American people, I wonder if we couldn't begin with a threshold question to wit, is President Biden woke? So let me tell you um, what the president cares about and what's important to this president. The president doesn't, doesn't concern himself about what Republicans are trying to do in creating political stunts, in making an issue uh, out of the things that they feel benefits them politically, not the American people, not what matters to the American people, but what benefits them politically for their own, uh, for their own ability to move forward. What the president cares about is exactly what I just talked about and what he talked about at the legislative conference, which is how are we going to continue to deliver for the American people? You heard him say that at the State of the Union. You heard him talk about how the economy has grown the last two years, the progress that we have made, and guess what? He wants to continue that progress. He wants to continue to move forward to make sure that we lower the deficit, which he did the first two years by $1.7 trillion, and be fiscally responsible. But he's, but he's, but he wants to work with Republicans on how we are going to continue to deliver, how we are going to build on the economic progress that we're seeing. That's not what they want to do. What they want to do is they want to cut Social Security. What they want to do is they want to cut Medicare. And they want to take us back and not actually deal with issues that matter to the American people. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you're an American out there and you hear your congressional member talking about how they want to cut Social Security? talking about how they want to cut Medicare, something that you have worked very hard for many, many years and paid into so you can get those programs. But yet, that Republican senator who we've been talking about from Florida has continued to talk about how they want to sunset these, these, uh, uh, these programs. That's not what we're about. We're about fighting for these, uh, for these programs, and that's what you're going to see from the president, and that's what he cares about. Go ahead. 